Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, I would request you please subscribe to the channel. We are very close to 10,000 subscribers. Also, I don't want you to miss any of the videos that we are going to create in this upcoming series. Okay. Also, I would request you join my telegram channel. So if uh, the telegram channel is completely many to many, that means uh, anyone can send messages. So if you are having any doubt, queries or any issues you are you're having, you can just put your uh, issues in, or queries in that group and me or any other senior member of the group will be happy to answer you okay now coming to today's video so today is day one of our real-time CICD pipelines and in this series we are as I mentioned before we are we are going to create fully fledged pipelines okay so today I have a uh, application basically a full stack application uh, made in node.js so that application is having front-end back-end and the database okay so for this application build and deployment process first of all we are going to perform sonar cube analysis to find uh, to perform code quality check if there are any issues bugs vulnerabilities in the code okay next we are going to use os dependency check tool with jenkins and using that we are going to perform a vulnerability scan on the uh, source code okay finally we are going to use a uh, trivi which is another security tool which uses multiple databases for uh, matching the uh, like issues in the dependencies so trivi is going to uh, like uh, match the uh, dependencies and find out if there is any issues in that okay so trivi will also do the files uh, scanning okay so finally when these things are done once whole security checks are done then we will be building our application and finally using docker compose we will be deploying the application okay also just to let you know this application is a multi-tier application that means it is a uh, sorry multi container application that means there will be multiple containers created for backend there will be separate container for front end there will be separate container like that okay so once like multiple containers are created using docker compose then that means our application is successfully deployed then we will be able to access it in browser and that we are going to do okay so this will be the agenda of today's video and i hope it helps you a lot to understand the real world real scenarios pipeline how to write them okay also just to make sure that you understand how to write pipelines i will be writing live and i won't be like just uh, writing it and just explaining to you know i'll be writing it from scratch so you understand everything okay yeah so uh, yeah so make sure to support me so that i can bring out more and more videos of full stack applications okay so with that being said let's get started okay team so this is the jenkins that i have set up okay so to give you a proper overview about the application let me uh, show you so this is the application i'm going to use and all the credits of this application goes to this person Rafael. okay i have just forked it on my system okay but uh, both the links i will just share it to you share with with you share it with you okay also to make sure that application runs properly i have made certain changes uh, in this application basically docker compose file okay so you can just check out both the application okay okay so basically this application is about a full stack bank okay uh, one more issue is uh, with this application this application is not in not made in english language okay but still functionalities and everything code and everything is written in english okay so okay so whole thing is uh, like about the application everything is uh, written in this uh, 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 readme page so you can just check it out okay now coming to application so the, the the developer has made in such a way these things you are seeing cypress and all so these are for testing specific which we are not going to use okay what we are going to focus on is this app folder inside it we have backend and frontend and the docker uh, docker compose file okay so backend if i go to backend you will see one docker file this whole thing is also made up of like node.js based application okay so basically uh, i think two container containers are going to be created one for backend and one for frontend and probably one for database also which we will check okay then this is the frontend location it also contains one docker file this is also node.js based application okay okay so once these things are done finally we can check out the docker compose file using which we are going to create the containers okay so this docker file you can just explore as per your requirement okay okay now the prerequisite for this application to be built properly uh, make sure that you are having docker compose as a, a version which is more than 1.26 okay 
if you are like having 1.26 or below you you will give lot of you will get lot of errors okay if you want to make sure that you don't get errors and your application gets built properly so if i go here if i run the command as docker dash compose hyphen v you can see i am using a version 2.12.2 okay so use version something that is above 1.26 then only your application will work secondly uh, what i have done changes is this was the version of this docker compose file was 3.9 so i have just changed it to 3.5 because for me that was not supporting okay okay now coming to jenkins so if i go to manage jenkins if i go to tools so certain tools certain set of tools i have installed let me just walk you through them okay first i have installed docker of the latest version okay then i have installed uh, dependency check plugin because of which uh, this option is coming and i am going to use dependency check version 6.5.1 okay then node.js uh, uh, plugin also installed and for this specific application you are going to need node.js version 16 okay then only this application will be able to build properly okay then we have yeah sonar cube installation since we are going to perform sonar cube analysis so i have installed uh, sonar cube uh, also okay I think yeah this much to uh, this much tools I have installed just to show you again from where I installed so you should go to available plugins okay and since I have already installed so my plugins will be uh, like visible in this installed section but just to let you know which plugins I installed okay here first you need to search sonar so this plugin I installed okay then dependency check yeah this one OS dependency check this plugin I have installed okay then docker so yeah docker plugin yeah docker plugin also i have installed okay and other than this uh, node.js yeah so node.js plugin also you need to install so that you can uh, like download the different versions okay now we are going to write the pipeline for scratch so first of all we will click on new item here let's provide a name as a bank okay then click on pipeline click on ok okay now as a best practice we are going to discard uh, like old builds that means we are just going to keep history of two builds okay so i will just max uh, number of builds to keep is two scroll down now we are going to write a pipeline okay let me make this screen little big so if you are doing it for the first time if you have not written pipelines or if you are if you are not an experienced devops engineer my suggestion always go with hello world okay this will generate a template that will be much easier for you to understand as well as write okay so every time first stage that our pipeline should be having or any pipeline is git checkout okay which basically what it does it will create a local copy of your source code in your uh, jenkins workspace okay so here uh, i need to write the command to clone the repository okay let's say i don't know this also okay so there is this option pipeline syntax if i open it in a new page here you will find lot of options okay so here you can see this option git okay so what we are going to do is uh, copy the whole repository url okay and just make sure that you check the branch so we, ha we are currently on main branch okay so we are going to paste repository url here branch will be main credentials since it is, it is public repository so no credentials required rest generate pipeline script now this command that we just received we will just paste it here okay now first stage is completed now our source code will be able to uh, cloned in our local copy local uh, system okay now to create second stage i will just copy this okay paste it here so now what i want to do is perform a vulnerability scanning using uh, os dependency check okay so for that i will put os uh, scan okay and we are going to perform a scan of file system okay so i have a pre-written command for it because usually it, it it gives lots of errors okay still if you want to understand how it is written you can go to here dependency check invoke okay and here you can provide arguments okay but i have like pre i have a like pre-written thing so let me just copy this okay copied and i will paste it here okay now if you see what it has is first one is the special specific arguments uh, which we want to use which i will just add in a minute okay then we have odc installation which basically means os dependency check installation so to confirm like what we have we can go to uh, manage jenkins 
go to tools scroll down and here we have dependency check installation we have provided the name dc okay so we are going to change this name with capital d and dc okay this is done next there are so many arguments available so in our case let's say i want to scan a specific location okay so and i don't know arguments so what i will do i will search for this one go here and you can see all the arguments that you want to use are available so many arguments almost hundreds of arguments available so for my case what i want to use is this one okay or hyphen s or uh, cap, uh, hyphen fn scan okay basically this argument will provide the information where does this scan, scan needs to be done in our case we are going to put dot slash that means from the root folder and everywhere it is going to do okay so two stages completed next stage i want to write is to perform trivi okay now trivi tool basically uh, needs to be installed on your uh, vm okay so if i go here if i search for trivi i should be able to find the steps to install it yeah see now we have this uh, st uh, steps to install it so let me just do it quickly we'll go here paste the commands y and yeah this won't take too much of time but as i said ki i'm going to do everything from scratch so that you people can understand everything okay and this is the command so basically what we are doing here in case you are not able to understand we are manually adding or basically adding a, repo a repository as well as downloading the package for trivi and then we are going to install it okay and once we have added the repository as well as the package we will run one time apt get comma uh, update command so that the default repositories and packages should be updated very easily okay so once that is done then finally we can run this command to install trivi in case you want to understand or learn more about trivi i have video in my uh, youtube channel which you can search okay where i have shown from scratch how trivi works what exactly it is and everything else okay now just to check i can run command trivi hyphen v and you can see version we are using is 0.4.450 okay this is done right next coming back here so we want to uh, do our trivi scan okay so stage name i want to put as trivi fs scan fs means file system scan okay and here also we are going to do file system scan but uh, uh, OASP has like limited uh, capacity while Trivi has much better capacity as well as a uh, vast resource for like the uh, finding of the vulnerabilities okay okay so for Trivi command what we are going to write is sh for shell because we are running everything in shell commands okay here we can run, uh, write the command as Trivi fs and whatever we want to scan so put a dot put a dot means key uh, it will scan everything from the root directory okay so this much is fine just to confirm let me check the commands uh, yeah trivies fs so and so okay fine in case you want to customize the uh, uh, customize the output you can put like this so it will do perform the specific vulnerability checks as well as, well as configuration issues but for now we will just put trivi fs it will scan the whole system okay next we have uh, the what is that next we have a uh, sonar cube uh, code quality check okay so for for that let me check if i have sonar cube running so basically i have created a sonar cube instance using a docker container okay so to show you how it looks so what i can do i can copy the ip address of my server put it here paste and now 1000 will be the browser address and this is the sonar cube so first we need to do certain configuration okay go to administration security and users we need to create tokens so that we can connect the sonar cube instance to our jenkins server okay i will just provide any name 30 days is enough generate and this is the specific token which we are going to use as a credential for connecting sonar cube to uh, jenkins okay so what i will do i will quickly go to dashboard go to manage jenkins and then system okay this is the place where we are going to configure our sonar cube okay so yeah here you can see add sonar cube okay 
so as of now here there is no credential added so what i'm going to do quickly go to manage jenkins again scroll down to credentials okay click on global add credentials and we are going to select secret text because we just have a token right so we will paste it here id will be sonar dash cred anything you can put it doesn't matter much okay and yeah so this is done right now if i refresh the page and now let us add the sonar keep server so this name i want to provide server name will be sonar okay and address we need to provide so till 9000 you can just copy go uh, yeah where is it here let me close this okay and make sure to remove slash because in case you are using a webhook from sonar cube for the quality gate purpose then it won't work if you have a slash here okay now this is done right added now here we need to add the sonar cube stage so i will just copy this create another stage and let me provide a name as sonar cube analysis okay uh, and this is okay fine here we need to provide the whole thing for sonar cube okay now what we need to do let me explain we need to create uh, an environment for sonar cube okay how do we do that so let me explain you that as well if i scroll up it should be here yeah see here so basically we have already configured a sonar sonar scanner tool okay so basically we need to provide the path home path here okay and then we are going inside the from the home path we are going to call it so calling will be done using this okay which i will just put it in minimum minute let me put it as uh, so yeah first of all we need to have environment right so we will pro uh, like create uh, environment where scanner home will be uh, to uh, home will be the uh, home path of this scanner uh, sonar scanner tool okay now to call the uh, sonar scanner what we can do let me show you again if i go to pipeline syntax go back here uh, 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 with sonar cube or something we should be able to see with sonar cube environment this okay now something you need to know let me first copy and paste it let me explain you what exactly happening with sonar cube environment here we are added credential but in, in instead of this we can just add our sonar cube server name so if you remember we configured server name as sonar from where the, I got this name, if I go to here, you can see inside manage NK system, we have configured sonar cube installation as server, right? Now here we can uh, write the commands. Okay, let me do it a little bit clear. Okay, as such, since we are going to have multi-line command, so we can put three, this one, okay? Now we are going to call our, uh, what is that? this home path we have selected set right for sonar cube 2 so we are going to call it how to call in this format slash bin and inside bin folder the sonar scanner tools executable will be there so we can call it in this format sonar scanner done right next what we need to do is provide project name project key right, like that okay so let me just uh, copy this so it's much easier okay if i paste it here okay let me just confirm yeah so this is fine project project name let's say i want to put as uh, bank okay and project key also i will put as bank okay and i guess we don't need java binaries so I will just remove it for now. Okay. Now this is fine, but I guess like we don't need multi-line code because we do not have much here. Okay. Just project key, a project key and project name. So I will just put uh, this double quotes. Yeah. Okay. Some error. It's okay. One second. 
9 now it's fine okay so this many stages we have added for now so let's trigger it and let's see if there is any error okay click on build now and yeah okay so first of all what is it going to do is download all the tools that we have mentioned okay and now it is you can see it is uh, downloading the os dependency check stage uh, tool okay it's it has downloaded now it is uh, downloading the information from the specific database okay so what happens one thing you should know ki you are seeing this year 2002 this is the year okay and nvd basically means national vulnerabilities database so it downloads database since 2002 whatever database existing from that time till 2023 it will download okay and those database basically contains the list of vulnerabilities that may occur or that that may have been existed in specific version of dependencies okay you know like when we use uh, maven based application so our dependencies are mentioned in pom.xml file okay so it will match all those files for node.js it will search for i think pack, package.json because all those things are mentioned there okay and then it will match uh, the dependencies with the information available to its own database okay so whichever specific dependency is having an issue it will just let us know okay ki you should use a different version of dependency it is having some issues got it and finally it will once everything is done then it will generate a report in xml format okay and if i click on here you can see it is like uh, stages has been started okay and what stages we have after oasp uh, the trivi scan will be running and finally after trivi we will be having sonar cube check okay okay team so if you look closely you will see it has downloaded till 2023 now it is doing the initial setup that it needs to do for the uh, uh, initial layer scanning okay and here you can see it was able to generate the report in the form of dependency check dash report dot xml okay and here now trivi scan is running so trivi will scan and you can see it has uh, generated the report it was able to find 11 issues okay out of which uh, medium level is 6 high level is 2 and critical level is 3 okay so this report is also created okay so we have some issue with uh, sonar cube okay so let's fix this okay team so i think by seeing the error if i go back and if i see the error uh, it is java related issue okay you can see this version of java runtime only recognizes class file versions up to 50.5.0 so initially what i'm going to try with is uh, install a J, uh, jdk okay so as of now if i click on install automatically you see only three options okay so to get more options what we can do go to manage jenkins go to plugins and available search for simply jdk now this option comes eclipse temurian installer just install it and then you will get the option to download open jdk uh, versions okay let me see the progress yeah so it has downloaded we will go to manage jenkins once again in tools jdk and this time i want to use jdk 11 and install automatically i can see this option install for ad from adoptium right so we are going to use jdk 11 and i will add one more jdk in case jdk 11 does not work we will use jdk 17 okay and here from the adoptium.net you can select the versions jdk 17 done click on apply okay now one more thing you should remember ki if you are working with uh, like uh, different kind of tools different versions of tools make sure to mention it them here okay so mentioning can be done using tools curly bracket here you need to write tool type and tool name so tool type for us is jdk tool name that we just configured is jdk 11 right now this is done so one more time we will just run our build and check the status now as compared to previous time it should not be taking uh, too long because uh, the only stage that is supposed to take too much of time is the OWASP dependency check so that for that we have already downloaded the uh, database okay till from 2002 to 2023 okay so it should not be taking too much time rest of the stages we need to monitor new jdk has been installed you can see here unpacking right 
scroll down and you can see dependency check completed very quickly then we have trivi trivi also I, I guess it is completed okay so here we are seeing the issue class file versions up to again same thing so this time what i will do i will just configure jdk 17 and let's see what happens i'm not sure if it is uh, uh, what exactly is the issue i guess like it's jdk only okay Now you can see here it is like again unpacking and downloading the JDK 17. Okay, so let's wait for it to complete. Till Trivi we are able to do till uh, on Sonar Cube stage we are getting issues. Hopefully it will be fixed. That is not a uh, problem. Okay, now you can see it has started and now hopefully it is running Sonar Cube analysis. So once it is successful then we can start with uh, building and deployment of our applications okay so this was successful if I go back here then go to sonar cube we have this okay uh, it was only able to find four security hotspots so that is not an issue for us okay okay next what I want to do is uh, first of all uh, yeah for dependency check you can see it was able to find lots of issues actually okay Okay, so next step, I want to uh, install dependencies for Node.js. Okay, so what I'm going to do is copy this and create another stage. So for that, I guess from here I can do paste it. This time I want to provide the name as install dependencies. Dependencies. Okay and the command for this we are going to run is npm install okay okay so what this will do this will basically uh, download all the dependencies for the project and then project will be able to get uh, like ready to be deployed okay okay team so <clears throat> for the previous issue what i did first of all as i mentioned key whatever tool we are going to need so that we can run uh, we need to define them here so jdk uh, we have defined jdk 17 for node.js we have defined no uh, node.js 16 here okay now for let's like, after like sonar cube analysis is successful what i am doing is installing dependencies okay so three three times i have run command the reason for that uh, maybe i'm wrong but uh, like there are three specific location okay where all this package.json file was existing first is on root folder second was in backend and third was in frontend okay so all those uh, locations i just ran the command one thing you need to no notice key i'm running in this using this format okay because in uh, jenkins when you want to move to directories you cannot write the command cd cd space dot dot like that it won't work you need to uh, like ch uh, use this uh, this format for changing directories and inside it i have defined which directory i am i want to go okay so this is for front end this is for back end and here since i did not define anything so it's directly running on the root location okay so if i just apply and run this if i go uh, let's see the logs so now it is running dependency check okay and this might take a little bit of time because like matching dependencies and everything takes some time yeah so also like see you can see node.js uh, node modules basically it is since optional and not installed so it is like skipped let's monitor from here itself as of now these many stages we have added get checkout one two three four five six seven right again scroll okay sorry about that if we should be here checking the logs okay as i said this will take little bit of time so let's monitor and let's wait for it to complete this video might be little long because we are doing it from scratch right now it is running the trivi scan stage 
and okay trivia is scanning is complete and report has been generated you can see and one thing that you should notice is specific locations are trivi ran okay for this file then if i scroll up on this file on back end and front end on both the locations it was able to find package dot log package dash lock dot json so it ran this scan and you were able to see whatever issues it found okay scrolling down so now it is in sonar cube stage and it is running the analysis and sonar cube stage is also complete now okay so now what will happen it will download the download and install all the dependencies in uh, back end in front end okay as well as on the root location so once this is completed let it complete yeah it is success and yeah trivi's uh, graph is also working fine everything fine right now what we can do is simply deploy the application and access it through browser so for that what i will do let me copy this whole thing <laughs> paste it here to create a new stage and here name i want to put as deploy to container okay we are going to deploy using docker container and yes we are our doc uh, basically we don't need to provide this one now okay because the command that we have as such double quotes npm run compose following up so it will automatically find the uh, docker compose file okay and i want to run in detached mode so that uh, application can like jenkins job can exit okay apply and let's see so this should be able to build our application and deploy it properly okay and yeah obviously this is going to take little bit of time so let's just stick to it okay some issue with sonar cube mm, let me refresh okay this might okay obviously like this time lots of code smells as well as bugs came and this might have been failed because of two conditions failed okay so basically uh, when you when your sonar cube analysis fails when it says conditions fail so these conditions are coming from the code uh, quality gates okay if i go here you can see the conditions are set code coverage is if it is less than 80% it will fail okay so because of that our project has been failed uh, but no issues because we got the code smells and bugs whatever exist in our project okay coming back to the build and here yeah so uh, os dependency check is success now it is running this uh, trivi scan trivi is also success now and now it is in sonar cube analysis stage so yeah it will also be completed very quickly i guess okay also see whatever i'm telling you should just listen and understand for example like uh, when sonar analysis is being done you can see what kind of profile or what kind of rules will be getting used okay for example it was able to find yaml file in our source code so it will use the default uh, profile for yaml analysis then xml then ts typescript json uh, javascript css so these kind of files it was able to find and it is going to perform analysis on this okay scrolling down analysis uh, yeah sonar cube analysis is successful okay now it is uh, running the npm install uh, commands on our front end back end as well as the root location okay so let's wait for it Okay, this is done. Now, finally, let's see how much time does it take to uh, deploy the application. Okay, now if I scroll up, this is the command that we run. Okay, and if I scroll down, you can see it has started creating the uh, containers. Okay, and now meanwhile it is running. If I go here, uh, if I clear the screen, run Docker ps. Let's see. Yeah. So slowly, slowly, one by one, uh, the uh, like uh, the containers are getting created. Now you can see, it it was created 27 uh, sorry 29 seconds ago, Postgres. Postgres will be used as database for our project. Okay. Yeah, you can see like uh, uh, NGDB. It is like in this ma this many things are for DB database. So they have been created. 
now it is getting started with uh, creating the backend containers that's why i was saying that this is a fully fledged application and if you want to use it you should understand properly okay and everything is done now front end created back end created if i go back to uh, here run the same command docker ps now you can see front end is created back end is created and database is created okay okay so to access the application what we can do copy the ip address paste it here and the application is accessible on port 3000 click enter and you can see application is accessible let me change the language yeah so here you can just provide your credentials for logging in or if you want to create an account you can click on create an account and here provide details whatever you have and this uh, will help you log in okay since this uh, this application is not mine so uh, i won't be taking credits for it but this application is amazing and more details you can get it from the repository itself also if you are new on the channel uh, or new on my channel make sure to follow me on github so that if i am adding any new repositories you don't get uh, you don't forget it okay also one more thing that i am going to do since many of you are definitely going to ask for the pipelines that i have used so i will just copy the whole thing and paste in the Uh, repository itself, itself. Okay, Jenkins file, and this will be the pipeline. Commit changes. Great. Now this is done. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, application we have deployed successfully and everything is fine. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.